Third view. That goes there. I'll close that. I don't think I've been on the play yet. Alright, hello everyone. This is round three of the MPDC, whatever it says in the title or in the comments. I'm playing against Morphling with two Ps. I am 2 0. You can see this on my stream, Anomalous Zero on Twitch, my YouTube, Vincent.Zippola, or probably where you're seeing it is on Magic Gathering Strat or MTGOStrat.com. Uh, would I like to lag test? No, I'm just talking, bro. He did a lag test. Would I like to play first? Yes. Would I like to keep this in? Yes. Even though it's not great. I don't like mulliganing. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna lead off with a good old Anwar Elves. And hexproof, I guess. This is not a good hand for hexproof. Um, getting, I can get this out there this turn. Next turn, pair it with this swing for three, four. Is that gonna be? Yeah, I think that's okay. I, I like that better. So play it, but don't pair. And then figure out what I want to bring in for my naturalizes. Okay, you got me. Um, main deck pacifism? Yeah, it's probably fine. Because this is, I think this is the green white version. Maybe it splashes black, but uh, who knows? Uh, yes. Though I'm probably going to get boned next turn if he plays... Um... Centaur Healer. The 3-3. Three, three. Oh, I don't know what... This, this might just be the three-color version. Wow. Okay, I drew a lot of lands. That's unfortunate. And I should have played a Haunted Fengraph there. Uh, not even close. I don't know, he might be playing real removal, so... I think I just made a weird noise. No, this is Flickergate. Okay. Did not expect this to be Flickergate. Uh... Huh. Oh no, this could still just be hexproof. I think they've played the gatekeepers. You got me. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on here. But I don't think it's good for me. The sand did not pan out in any good way. Ah, oh, another pacifism. Yeah, you notice he has uh, four cards in hand, and I have land. It's okay. I'm kind of hoping not to make the top four, because I have to go to the grocery store and buy food. And then I get to come home and play Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's just get in there with the, uh... Young Wolf. Good, good. Because now I can draw Giant Growths and start, um... Nugget him. Because that seems like how I'm going to have to win. It's possibly Howl of the Hunger Pack would be better than Giant Growth. I was thinking it wasn't. 
because of things like pacifism and that it's worse if a creature hasn't died, but who knows. I am not a doctor. Yep. More stuff? Where is all this stuff coming from? Okay. Well, I certainly drew a lot of lands. Uh huh. This this is probably the deck I'm gonna play next week. Some version of this deck. It just maybe without the blue. I'm not sure, but like, look at that ethereal armor and game. Okay, so what's bad here? What don't I want? Young wolves are mediocre. Young wolves are very mediocre. So those are two easy naturalizes. Wandering wolf is okay. Dark thicket wolf is okay. Courser's okay. Slaughterhorn's okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I just want to cut, like, Arbor Elves. And then just run like that. I wasn't sure what about the Arbor Elves at all, but, like, what do I... I'd want, like, a Scarecrow instead of an Arbor Elf against Mono Blue, a Primal Hunt Beast instead of an Arbor Elf against, you know... So it's sort of like a hedge. Uh, and obviously you side out the Arbor Elves instead of the Mystics, because Arbor Elves are annoying to use. I think I'll play. And, oh, maybe I should have brought in the Fogs that. If that was an Arbor Elf, I probably would have keep. But I'll mulligan. I'll keep this, I guess. Oh, he is running black. I'm probably going to lose. Land? Land. Not a land. Probably not going to come back from getting time walked three times. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm assuming this is just all kinds of bad for me. Just something like Vampiric Touch or whatever it's called. Yeah, that thing. Okay, land... Uh, here... And hopefully he doesn't have the Ethereal Armor. Because if he does, I can't win. I literally cannot win if he has ethereal armor. Oh no, I can draw. Never mind, I can draw. This is chant. Naturalize. Sorry. Literally can't win with a little. Little too much of a naysay thing. I will definitely block if you attack. I have to. I even have to use the giant growth, otherwise it's a two for two. Okay. Interesting.
interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, I'm just going to swing for four. Four? Am I going to swing for four? And then I can trade that there? Is that a good trade? Because I'm going to play the Dark Thicket Wolf here. Or am I going to play the Wandering Wolf? It's a good question. It's a good question to me. What's going on here? It's not my fault. Runner's Bane? Oh, yeah, Runner's Bane. That's a good card. Huh. Do, 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 do. Did he disappear? I wasn't really paying attention. No, there he is right there. Lindro Bra. Lindro e Juliana. Lindro e Juliana at hotmail.com. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have said that out loud. Oh well. I'm not sure what's happening. Don't ghost me, Lindro. Don't ghost me. I don't think he is. He did a light check earlier, so I'm assuming he just has a bad connection. Um. Yeah, we are going to swing with the Centaur Courser. And then play a Dark Thicket Wolf. And then trade here. No, oh, probably with it. Yay, this is good. Sorry. I, ke I keep thinking I have to use the naturalize on the mark of the vampire, but I can definitely just... Mm. That actually becomes bad if he has another enchantment. Which I guess he doesn't. Because otherwise he would have played it. Oh. Uh, I could be walking into... I have no idea here. <laughs> I, don't, I can't think of anything. Fog? I guess I could be walking into a fog. Fog would be okay here. Saves both his creatures. Makes me, like, trade fogs for giant growth and then saves his creatures. That's okay. Let's see, another hexproof deck. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna run hexproof next week. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what wins. Probably not with the Transguild Promenades. We shall see. Uh, it doesn't really have any two drops. Oh, here we go. Um, yes. That shall be how damage is dealt. And then I pass the turn. Okay. 
Okay, guess you were holding stuff back for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, I'm just gonna get in there with both of those. Uh, but not the elf yet. If he wants to trade here, that's okay. If he doesn't, I'm going to play the Baloth. If he does, I'm going to play the Fenestrid Boar. Fen Fenestrid? Fester Hide Boar. Okay. Interesting. I missed lands for a couple turns and still got there. Uh huh. So, do I want to bring in fogs for anything? I don't. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. What would I cut? Wandering wolves aren't that great. I guess that's okay. Just because these creatures are going to have huge power anyways, so it's always going to be able to be blocked. Um, kind of needs another land, but I'm not going to mulligan. I think I'm on the draw. Yeah, this could be bad for me. Two drop or preferably a land. Ah, two drop works though. Land me? Ooh, let's just attack first and see what happens. Sadly, I didn't draw land, so not good. Lots of things bad for me here. Uh, no, that was okay. Land? Alright, so what am I doing here? Do I just want to go on the Float Tribal Force Mage 4-4 plan? Oh, I guess I can swing with both of these, and then I can play a Trouble Force Mage post-combat if he doesn't block. Yeah, because I... That's why the, that's why root wallers are good, because you can go like this. Yeah, and this way if I don't draw a land next turn, I'm definitely swinging for four. Or with a four-four. If I do draw a land, other options occur. Hopefully this just isn't a Mark of the Vampire, or that other thing. The Ethereal Armor, or the Regeneration Enchantment. I don't know if they run that. Uh, troll Pants. I don't remember what it's called. Troll Hide? Probably Troll Hide. Ooh, getting in there. Well, okay, that's awkward. So I can swing with both of these. I can swing with both of these. He's probably not going to block. Get in for four. Then I can play this post-combat. And then I'll have two four fours on defense. I think I like that better. And if he does block, I can pump. And then I'll just take three on the crackback. So that's okay. Because this way I have two four fours on defense as opposed to one four four and two uh, whatevers. Obviously, if he has any pants, I'm in trouble. That's how pants works. They put pants on their creatures, and trouble happens. Ooh, 
okay, so I swing with everything. If he double blocks here, I put the the the, the hard to kill thing first, and then I can rebond with something here. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, ten, eleven. So I can put him to two, or I can just play a courser. I guess I just play a courser. Okay, I wasn't expecting no blocks there. This has to be like oh, okay. That, that's a that's a pretty good one here. Wow, still haven't drawn that land, eh? Well, let's just keep getting in there. There's got to be blocks this time. Okay, so these two are trading, this is dying, and then he'll be left with one healer, and I can only, yeah, so I should just pump that. Okay. You lost the round to fog, yeah. Fog's fog is a card. Ooh. That's not great for me. Well, let's see if he blocks here. Because I am definitely going for the double giant growth if he doesn't. Still haven't drawn that land. As you can see, if I would have drawn the land, I'd be just having a string of five fives here. Okay. Uh, I think I'm alright with that. I don't think they run Celestial Flare. Alright! Well, I'm 3-0. Oh yeah, Seraph of Dawn is a terrible card. Or, like, terrible card to play against. Well, I'm 3-0, so I guess I make top 4. No food for me. Uh, see you in round top eight, round one, top four, round one.